guys welcome to today's video okay so today is going to be a what if the Oxkin castle never burned down so if you remember at the end of Dragon Ball leading up to Chi Chi and Goku's wedding the Oxkin's castle caught fire because of a furnace beneath the earth's surface and it conveniently was laid just below Fire Mountain so for this what if I can take it in two ways either fire just never happened or that Grandpa Gohan who was basically the guardian of the furnace's bodyguard he got Baba to warn either Goku or the Ox King about the fire so we're going to take it that way so the ox king tells Goku to go find Banjo Fan and just like in the original story he gets all the pieces the story basically goes the same just that they're collecting the pieces before the fire starts they get everything that they should and head down to the furnace so then the story it's just exactly the same and Goku manages to sort out the furnace, patch up the hole and the fire never happens. So this basically means that the Ox King never lost his fortune because all of his world of possessions, all his money, everything was still in the mansion, in his castle. So instead of Goku and Chi Chi now living at Grandpa Gohan's house in the woods they'd live with the Ox King in his big castle with many rooms they'd still have Gohan about the same time that they normal would and the Ox King he has a very strong liking for Goku so he'd invest a lot in a lot of training equipment for him so that he could increase his training and get stronger and with Chi Chi being the demanding mother that she is she demands that the best tutors the best teachers in the entire world are brought in to teach Gohan from an early age so he begins his studies at like two years old but at the same time the Oxkin and Goku are like they're encouraging him to train as well and Chi Chi knowing that Gohan is already getting the best education she's more she's not as reluctant to allow him to train so she said one day a week he's allowed to train with Goku one day training with Goku as intense as he does it Gohan is going to become very strong especially with all the new special equipment that the Ox King has invested in Goku so Gohan is getting basic training from a very young age so he's getting all his study work and his training from the age of two years old so even younger than Goku he's starting to train so a young Saiyan by the age of four he's already gone through all the basic training he's about as strong as Goku was when he first competed in the World Martial Arts Tournament so I'd say about power level of 100 so Gohan being in a village instead of like just in the wilderness he'll have had more social interactions so he will be more confident than what he originally was so this is quite a big change for his character he's not as shy and as reclusive as what he was so now it comes time that Raditz shows up his interaction with Piccolo it's all the same and then he comes to find Goku he, and their fight goes the same and he kidnaps Gohan now Gohan being stronger but he can also sense energy 
He knows not to mess with Raditz. Just wait for Goku to arrive. So now the fight continues. Goku and Piccolo are fighting Raditz as it usually was. Then when Gohan breaks out of his of Raditz's pod and headbutts him, he causes more damage. But this time instead of just dropping to the ground and being scared again, he's ready to fight. And he straight away goes straight back at Raditz. His rage boost is still there. His power is still skyrocketing. And he just starts beating down Raditz. And by the time his rage boost has worn off, he's given a significant amount of damage to Raditz. And he's extremely hurt. By this time, Krillin and Roshi have shown up. So now it's five on one. So Piccolo now, he's still charging the special beam cannon. And Raditz is distracted fighting the other four. That's when Piccolo, Piccolo fires his special beam cannon. And it goes straight through Raditz's back. But it doesn't stop there. The attack continues. And it kills Gohan as well. Gohan standing right in front of Raditz. Ready to attack. Was in direct line. For the special beam cannon to hit him. So. Now Gohan is dead. And Raditz is dead. So now. Raditz. As he's dying, he tells he tells them about Vegeta and Nappa who will come and get the Dragon Balls as he hears Piccolo talk about the Dragon Balls. So now, Goku, Piccolo, Krone, Roshi, they're all mourning Gohan's death. But, now they need to figure out what to do with themselves for the next year as the Saiyans arrive. So this means that Goku will receive training from King Kai. But Gohan is in other world. So guys that's where I'm gonna leave it for today. Let me know what you think of this what if what do you think will happen next? Will Gohan get his training? How will viewers get stronger in time? Let me know what you think guys. As always, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Share this video with anyone that you think would enjoy it and it, it would help me a lot guys. So as always, thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.